Hey guys, welcome to another product video. Today we're shooting something really exciting. A few months ago, I got this iPhone 11 in this nice teal color. And if you've seen Apple's commercials, they're usually really stylish and really focusing on the product real well. So if you don't know me yet, my name is Sebastian. I'm a videographer currently based in Munich, but I also live in Vancouver. So I'm going back and forth between those cities. I mostly shoot music videos, commercials, and some documentaries. So if you want to do some, see some more tutorials on how to create product videos or music videos or some gear I use, consider subscribing. I really would appreciate it. I'm putting out more content weekly and let's jump into the video. As you might have seen in the video, there's three main setups. The first one was where the phone was mounted to the tripod and on the suction cup. The second one was where the glass was on the table with the black background and the phone was lying on the glass with the water. And then the third one was just the black backdrop and with some colors and I just held the phone in front of the lens here. So the setups were all pretty easy. They were all shot in my living room and let's jump into the first one. So now we're on the production side of the video again. We are here still in my living room and we set up the black backdrop here in the back, which we're going for a really dark moody vibe at the beginning to really tease the form and the form factor of the iPhone. And how we're gonna set this up is we have the phone on a tripod here. Um, make sure you get a really sturdy one and make sure you get like a good pan and tilt function. And then I just, had this arm here, rotating arm, mounted to the tripod plate here. And what I got is this arm mounted to the tripod here. And at the end, I have this suction cup, which is screwed just to that friction arm here. And it's just really easy. It's just like, you hold the iPhone on there and then you flip a switch here and it creates a compression and your iPhone is not going anywhere. And why I did this is because I wanna arm that out so it's easier to mask out. Um, we're gonna mask out the phone to make it easier to adjust and like animate it in post. But yeah, it's just a nice way, an easy way to get rid of like, if I hold it here, it would be way harder to mask out the hand and everything. So I just keeping it there and I can, just rotate and move it from here and then nothing is in the frame and the dark background is really nice because you can just increase the blacks and it blacks out basically the whole background even though it's not totally black in post you can really make it black so that's good to know and for the lighting of this first scene I'm just using a one of these tubes here and it's really cool because you can easily move them around and I'm just having like, I'm just gonna dim the lights and show you how it looks when the lights are all dim. So it's pretty dark right now. You don't have to go all the way dark. So I'm gonna open it up a little bit. And this is the only light I'm using for this. I'm basically just moving it around and just see where it gets the biggest reflection, the nicest reflections here. And obviously you want to remove the case. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. What I'm, what I'm going for is I just want like a nice little reveal here of the edges. And 
Yeah, I'm just looking where the, the best reflections are. Usually it's from like the back side because I don't want to reveal the front yet. And I'm just going to experiment a little bit and just move that light around until I have the best reflections I want. I kind of just like, like a pass through and I also experiment with um, the intensity of the light. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing stuff like that or like that and then turn it up and down like I'm going crazy and then turning it off again and just experimenting around a little bit and see where the lighting creates the best reflection. So first I'm focusing on the design of the phone like how it's shaped and like just want to reveal a little bit to create a little tension in the beginning and just with the like reflections on the edges and then what I'm doing is I'm doing the same thing and then I'm just focusing on the details of what makes that phone special. So for example, I have the iPhone 11, which has the two cameras in the back. So I'm just gonna try and reveal them. And then I'm focusing really on the details, which makes that product stand out. So for the shot where I typed on the phone, I also had the phone mounted to the suction cup and then I rotated the phone towards the camera and I used my 24 millimeter macro lens and really had it at the top of the screen to really show off how big the screen is. And then I just moved my fingers up and down and to really show off how big the screen is and how fast the phone can be. And for the lighting of this, I just used a Nanlite Pavo tube from the back just to highlight the edges of the phone. And then actually just used the light from the phone, which I had to crank up the brightness a lot because that macro lens is f14 and it really needs a lot of light. And as some of you might notice, I still have the screen protector on here, but I didn't want to remove it because I don't have any left here. And I think I didn't want to waste one. So, I mean, it still looks fine with the screen protector on, but I mean, I could have taken it off. Obviously, if that would have been a professional shoot for actual Apple, I would have taken it off. But for just for the demonstration video, I think it's fine to leave it on. So for the second setup, I actually just used the glass out of my cabinet and placed it on my table with the black background in the back. And this makes sure that the really nice reflections of the phone were mirrored kind of in the glass and it makes it look really classy. And also it's nice for the water droplets because they reflect really nicely off of the glass. As for lighting, I just used my Pavel tube and set it to 6500 Kelvin and just put it in the back of the phone. This makes the water droplets from above really look nice. If you wanna shoot liquids, it's always good to use backlights because it makes the drops and the water look really good. When you shoot water, it's good to shoot in 120 frames per second to re really can slow down the footage because when the water runs over the phone, it's really pleasing when it runs in slow motion as to when the water runs really quick, it doesn't look as good. But then I also shot some stuff in 4K to really give me some freedom in post-production to really can rotation or zoom in to really give me that uh, flexibility in post to really make those smooth rotations or movements of the product. If you shoot products like phones, you really want to consider to shoot at an f-stop of f8 or higher to really make sure that the whole product is in focus. When you want to focus on like the camera feature of the phone, I open up the f-stop to 2.8 to really make the focus on that actual feature that you want to highlight. What you also want to consider that at a higher f-stop there's not so much light coming in, especially if you shoot in a dark environment like we're doing. You always want to make sure that enough light hits your product that you don't get too much noise in your image. I also used a lot of size lens wipes to wipe off the product because you want to make sure that there's no fingerprints or dust on the phone. I use these size lens wipes but you also can use glass cleaner or a cloth but just make sure that there's no dust or anything on the product. And for the last scene, I just had the phone on the tripod and I used my Tamron 28 to 75 and I just had the phone moving around. And what I did is I wanted to give a nice little color contrast to the beginning, which was really classy and a lot of colors. But I also want to show that there's some color options of the phone, like different background colors. So I set my Pavo tube to RGB mode, which changes the color constantly. I, had, I just had my phone in front of the lens and I just rotated it a little bit and then sped it up in post 
and it really gives a nice contrast to the slow classy beginning just a little contrast to that with little colors and the movement so that is it guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video i know that apple uses cgi for most of their shots but i think it was fun to recreate some of them and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i will answer them or you can also dm me on instagram and yeah thanks so much for watching and i see you guys in the next one